Oh, Tala gombe, 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 Tokyo, Today is the special day uh, because uh, 
uh, for the sake of uh, all sentient beings of three realms, uh, we start to three year retreat. And Maladipa said that uh, meditators who meditate in the mountainside or uh, and uh, uh, who has been sponsor for those meditators, uh, there are special interdependence aspects to attain Buddhahood together. The essence of this uh, is the uh, dedication. Uh, so uh, anywhere in around uh, anywhere around the world, even practice uh, 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 all of these practices are for the sake of all uh, mother sentient beings, uh, especially. Uh, those benefits receive or not, it is depending uh, uh, rejoice. So, so <clears throat> if we practice rejoice, and through rejoice we practice, then uh, everybody get this benefit because everybody has the uh, Buddha nature. Uh, so for that reasons, uh, it's a special day we will practice uh, uh, Laman Chuba and so forth. So that's where this uh, uh, actually uh, the practice uh, for welfare all mother sentient beings, uh, which uh, we always recite in the beginning of open prayer book. The reason uh, we recite this for benefit all beings and free from suffering all beings, uh, it benefit to them because they all ha uh, they possess the Buddha nature. So Lord Jiktin Sungun said in Buddha's single attention, it says, the uh, every these uh, things are related to karma cause and effect uh, because karma cause we cultivate karma cause and effect moment to moment. Uh, but then uh, Buddha taught there are uh, 84,000 teachings 
but all of these teachings are included to buddhicitta because <clears throat> uh, and uh, because buddhicitta is the single uh, uh, the principal uh, antidote of all the uh, afflictive uh, emotions uh, so <clears throat> that's where uh, through the buddhicitta uh, we practice nyungne and so forth it, uh, uh, then it uh, the, uh, it benefit all beings. So um, through the uh, buddhicitta uh, mind, uh, then uh, practice, and especially uh, now we uh, began this three year retreat. Uh, this retreat is for the sake of all mother thinking beings. So whoever understand that they have more uh, merit. And some don't understand that, but still, uh, if they have, uh, uh, they generate immeasurable buddhicitta and uh, immeasurable compassion, uh, then they also receive uh, great merit. So in the empowerment, it says, some who uh, did not liberate from suffering, uh, the lower realms, and then they uh, uh, well liberate on, uh, from lower realms and uh, rebirth in higher realms, and some who are already in the higher realms, they are freed from the uh, uh, higher realms and they attain the the, mm, the higher boomies. Uh, so that's why <clears throat> uh, this uh, you always hear through empowerment uh, path instructions. So uh, during three-year retreat, is uh, at that time practitioners practice mm, mindfulness, which is a single pointedly. Uh, attention on a uh, <coughs> one uh, uh, object, uh, so that's why we should uh, uh, rejoice uh, to the uh, three-year retreat, and uh, also uh, actually not only for uh, retreatants here, anywhere, whoever doing retreat, we should uh, uh, rejoice them, and we should uh, support them. Uh, then uh, all of this merit. Um, uh, well received, uh, and especially uh, uh, to uh, do three year retreat here, GBI is not easy because uh, in the summer it's uh, very hot, in the winter it's very cold. It, it is like a lapchi, but those um, retreatants uh, possess great buddhicitta. Uh, without buddhicitta, without possess buddhicitta. Uh, then uh, it's not easy to decide to do three-year retreat. The reason they uh, endowed or possessed the uh, great buddhicitta for that reason they um, could uh, decide to do a uh, three-year retreat. So then everybody uh, should rejoice that. <laughs> So since be, uh, began this uh, <clears throat> uh, center, uh, GBI center here, uh, this is the fourth uh, uh, three-year uh, retreat. We'll begin today's practice with the yellow prayer book, opening prayers on page one. <coughs> sentient beings, limitless uh, space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. 
All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. Oh, For that purpose, until I attain Buddhahood, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Until death, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. From today until this time tomorrow, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. I take refuge in the Buddhas until attaining the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. I take refuge in the Buddhas until attaining the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the <coughs> Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the bodhisattva's path. <laughs> Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and the other perfections, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and the other perfections, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. <laughs> May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Now we'll do this. Dee 
Susam Diva, that is the body, get it to the city, that some deal of the Tobacco Yuri, Torado, Sanji, some day the demon Sabatay, me by the Kanda, that can go to Dina, Niki, or the Chunk and go, Jen and Nichol, some day, you must have a day or some day, Chimbody, just some day, Chimbody, that Tom and Jet to Guyori, that the Tom with it, Jumbling in Nagan, I mean, Tom did there, some day, to get David, don't dare it. This is something the top song. ま、ガッダルデルにソンソンを先進させて、トイソルチェットを呼び、マドルデルにトイソルを先進させて、レイトでハコを呼び。おまし、僕のレイトでハコにてさ、そこ接住でチェットを呼び。レビーにてるべる
uh, right now we uh, arise buddhicitta single er, uh, moment arise uh, buddhicitta uh, or we experience happiness in a moment these are also uh, the result of uh, uh, the buddhicitta in previous lives so that's where we are uh, uh, doing three year retreat for uh, uh, all mother beings uh, uh, and uh, for arising uh, buddhicitta so that's where uh, this is uh, very important ซิมจีทําจีตงซาเจทบโกเซมจีทําจีตงซาเจทบโกเปลิงชาวรมจะโดดๆชาวรมจะจนยําทุลทําซงติติซิมจีทําจีเปิงกี่อยู่เลยเ
through our spacious ties with this practice and causes conditions all complete through this practice everything's made pure Emma Resentments, jealousies, obstacles, divine omniscient ones, please lead me to the planet, stars are well aligned, earth's good qualities are all complete, time fixed stars and day are auspicious for this cleansing pacifying right, Buddha's bodhisattvas are stainless, Buddha, fearless being is supreme truth. Desireless Sangha is supreme truth. Sangha chief gathering is supreme truth. By three truths, truth blessing, may this one often be accomplished perfectly. Then a whole consider this with Samantha Bhadra's offering class. I plant, I offer with Father Wood, Juniper like white sandal like plants, Mother Cedar Wood like red sandal, with Father's Wood King of Pure Sightplants, with Mother Tentrums, with Juniper Tentrums, Tantras and forefathers, lineage guards, Dharma center guards, lonely place guards, destined approach accomplishment guards, allied with powerful legions, gods who act as watchmen day and night, who lead and act as rivers, Sovereigns of every realm, dominating, 
Lama Chopa Sadhana, called the Exceedingly Concise Liturgy of the Lama Chopa in relation to Lord Jigden Sumgun, the great Lord Drigumpa. <coughs> Deity, embodiment of the three jewels, I take refuge until awakening is reached to liberate infinite destitute beings. I make effort to accomplish the Guru Buddha. <laughs> May the offering substances of gods and humans, those actually arranged and those mentally created, outer, inner, secret, and unsurpassed, pervade all reaches of space. <laughs>
the Yidam deity in the space in front on a sublime throne, precious and exquisite, and upon a lotus moon and sun seats the root guru inseparable from Supreme Lord Jigden Sumkun. White tinged with red, he is radiant and this, with the splendor of the major and minor marks. He wears bright saffron colored Dharma robes, a monk's vest, and a red meditation hat, a sign of ultimate attainment. He sits in Vajra posture within a five colored rainbow sphere his hands in the Mara subduing and meditation mudras. He is surrounded by the golden garland of the ultimate lineage, along with the masters of profound view, vast action, and meditation. In front and behind, to the right and left, upon lion thrones and seats of lotuses and moons, is the divine assembly of Yidams, the three jewels, and the Dharma protectors gathered like clouds. The light streaming from the three syllables at the three places invites the wisdom beings in identical forms. <laughs> Middle of page four. Victorious Lord Kyopa, endowed with the ten powers together with your retinue, the ocean of three jewels and three roots, by the power of the previous vows which you took out of great compassion for all wandering beings, please come here without delay. Please be seated with joyful expression upon this lion throne with lotus and moon, with bodies as numerous as dust motes in the universe, I prostrate to the embodiment of inconceivable
I offer oceans of realms, all filled with water for drinking and washing the feet, lotuses, clouds of incense, arrays of lamps, sweet fragrances, food, and music to fill all reaches of space. gathering the five objects pleasing to the senses, the seven treasures, the eight auspicious symbols and substances and so forth, I offer them to the victorious ones. <laughs> I offer you a mandala of a billion universes of all the ten directions laid out in groups of Mount Meru, the continents, and the islands, all adorned with various desirables. Please accept it and grant accomplishments here and now. Okay. And Sakoma, now we'll English? do this Kama prayer, the long one, uh, in English only. It's a handout. Looks like this. I gaze upon the supreme self-arisen Lama seated on the immutable, spontaneously established throne here in the mandala of primordially pure mind as it is in the supreme palace of all victorious ones of the three times. I gaze upon the supreme Lama who is meaningful to behold. The instant I behold that great bliss of Dharmadhatu, I cross the vast ocean of samsara and arrive at the blissful pure ground. With the eye of wisdom, I gaze unwaveringly upon the Lama, the victorious hero in the battle. Just by remembering that refuge, all afflicting emotions, thoughts, and the hordes of Mars are defeated. In your body, the victorious ones of the three times of all ten directions appear together with their offspring, 
With joy, I gaze upon your body adorned with all the major and minor marks seated on the throne of fearlessness, lotus, sun, and moon. Three kayas, nature of the mind, Vajradhara, you are inseparable from great bliss, bowing down to you with innumerable bodies like cloud banks, yearning with a full voice. I prostrate and go for refuge. Your body, the nature of precious bodhicitta, is inseparable from all the victorious ones of the three times. Thus all Buddha fields are permeated by your body, and within your body all Buddha fields appear. I bow down to the glorious one. With your flawless, melodious speech, like an ocean of ambrosia, you show all phenomena to be unborn, thereby defeating the Mount Meru of views. I prostrate to your unhindered Vajra speech. In the mandala of immutable mind beyond thought, you never move from the equanimity state of Dharma Dhatu, yet you hold the wisdom power of knowing the three times. I prostrate to the spontaneously established non-duality. Even if expressed during all oceans of kalpas by all the victorious ones without exception, the qualities of your body, speech, and mind would not be completed. I prostrate to you who possesses limitless qualities. Until the ocean of samsara is exhausted, you perform the supreme activities that ripen all sentient beings. I prostrate to you, the Lama, who is the manifold, effortlessly arising, unceasing, supreme refuge. Oceans of emanated offerings to you delight the victorious ones and ripen all sentient beings. Having completely filled the Dharma Dhatu, I make this unsurpassed offering unceasingly. From the heart palace of the great being radiates the light of immeasurable bodhicitta. Thus in all the pure lands of the ten directions, innumerable beautiful offering goddesses manifest, holding water, flowers, incense, lamps, supreme scents, and food. From the cloud banks of offerings, rain falls, delighting the victorious ones of the three times, thereby filling the spheres of realms. I make offerings to the victorious ones of the three times, Light radiates once more from the body of the victorious one, manifesting parasols, victory banners, draped banners, musical instruments, garments, precious jewels, medicine and grains. I offer ocean-like cloud banks of these manifold offerings. The seven precious royal attributes, like the wheel, the seven subsidiary ones, like the mansion, the auspicious substances, the substances of the cities, and so on have arisen from the two accumulations. Please accept these offerings. Furthermore, I behold in my mind an offer to the protector of all offerings throughout the limitless pure lands of the victorious ones that belong to an owner and do not belong to an owner, and all that is worthy to be offered. I offer all pure lands of the victorious ones of the three times, which are the very pure mandalas of the three kayas, completely filled with flawless prosperity. Please accept these offerings, you, the Lord of compassion. To you, protector, I offer my body, speech, and mind, all wealth equal to space without exception, and all the virtues accumulated in the three times. Out of compassion, please accept these for the benefit of all sentient beings. By seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and recollecting the Vajra goddesses of form, sound, odor, taste, and tangible objects, the three obscurations are purified. I offer the goddesses of appealing objects to you. Please accept them, immaculate, victorious Lord. The Vajra goddess of body, nature of form, is the supreme goddess of fully purified ignorance. I merge her with the eyes of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of mind, nature of sound, is the supreme goddess of fully purified hatred. I merge her with the ears of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of qualities, nature of odor, is the supreme goddess of fully purified arrogance. I merge her with the nose of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of speech, nature of taste, is the supreme goddess of fully purified desire. I merge her with the tongue of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the bliss of non-duality. The Vajra goddess of activity, nature of tangible objects, is the supreme goddess of fully purified jealousy. I merge her with the body of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the bliss of non-duality. 
The Vajra goddess of primordially emptiness of all phenomena. Nature of sound is the supreme goddess of fully purified mind as it is. I merge her with the mind of the Lama, Lord of Dharma. Please accept this in the great bliss of non-duality. I offer means and wisdom inseparable, the supreme victorious one, the five families with consorts, the assembly of viras and dakinis, and the Buddhas filling the limitless sky. Please accept this great bliss from the equality of all phenomena, the ocean-like samadhi, oceans of unwavering manifestations arise, and guide all beings. Please accept the assemblies of the victorious offspring, the bodhisattvas who rule all Buddha fields. The ones of great fierce, wrathful out of immeasurable compassion, show grinding teeth and fierce faces on their opposing bodies. Please accept these wrathful, victorious ones of primordial wisdom who defeat the hordes of Maras by the roar of Hom and Pei. All manifold clouds of outer, inner, and secret offerings are offered in this vast mandala of Samantabhadra's mind. Within the mode of abiding of unchanging non-duality, the unsurpassed offering of suchness is offered. All phenomena are primarily and completely pure mind as it is. Within that, whatever confusion, dualistic appearance, distinction of good and bad, hatred and attachment there might be, each and everything, I confess, may it be purified within that state. With a happy mind, I rejoice in all virtues of all the victorious ones of three times of the assemblies of the superior ones of the unceasing wheel of the two accumulations of sentient beings. I beseech you, protectors in the worlds of the ten directions, by completely turning the wheel of stainless dharma with the sound of the ocean like branches of melodious speech. Please ripen all sentient beings without exception. I beseech you, protectors who abide throughout all realms, please do not pass into nirvana until the exhaustion of the Datu of space. Rather, fulfill your commitments by abiding permanently. May all sentient beings be established in the unsurpassed supreme state by this virtue, by the virtues accumulated in the three times throughout all samsara and nirvana, and by the undefiled innate virtue. By the light rays of immeasurable great compassion from the palace of body, speech, and mind of the victorious one, please purify my body, speech, and mind, and thus transform it into your body, speech, and mind. Protector, as you made offerings and delighted the sublime Lama, likewise may I always offer ocean-like clouds of offerings and delight you. May I follow in your footsteps. May I perform limitless activities that do not even waver a hair tips with respect to the liberation of your body, speech, and mind. May I be renowned in the three worlds. Thus may anybody just by hearing my name or remembering me be completely liberated from the tormenting suffering and attain the state of great bliss of the victorious ones. May I turn into any form equal to the expanse of sentient beings, taming them according to their needs. Thereupon, may they take refuge joyfully and be established in the unsurpassed supreme awakening. Those ones who are oppressed with shrouds of ignorance, who lost the path, who are threatened by afflicting emotions, such as the henchmen of the Lord of Death, may helplessly remember me and instantly find the supreme path becoming the inexhaustible wheel of ornamentation, which is body, speech, and mind of all victorious ones of the three times. May I completely dry out the ocean of samsara and establish all sentient beings in the unsurpassed supreme state. In all my lives, may I never be separated from the authentic Lama and enjoy the glories of the Dharma by completely perfecting the qualities of bhumis and paths. May I swiftly attain the state of Vajradhara. Back to the Lama Chopa Sadhana on page seven, or um, yeah, seven. Oh, this one day, Sanas 
To the Guru who embodies all the Sugatas of the three times, I respectfully pay homage with my three doors. I make oceans of outer, inner, and secret offerings. I confess all wrongdoings and downfalls created by the three poisons. I fully rejoice in the three secrets. Please turn the Dharma wheel of the three vehicles and remain in the nature of the three Vajras. I dedicate an ocean of virtue completely free of the three spheres in order to attain the unsurpassed state of the three Kayas. Guru, supreme refuge worthy of homage, embodiment of the victorious ones of infinite directions and times, with certainty in your ocean like qualities, I pay homage and offer praise with a hundred thousand melodies. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
So there is a <clears throat> very important verse in the Golden Temple prayer. Uh, it says, <clears throat> actually there are uh, many uh, explanations and uh, many commentaries. So sometimes we um, forget the, this uh, great meaning of that because of many explanations. So then uh, it says, those ones who are operized with shorts of ignorance, who lost the path, who are the threatened by afflicting emotions, such as the henchman of the Lord of Death, may helpless remember me and instantly find the supreme path. So why, <coughs> uh, uh, why the, uh, do we uh, uh, empty uh, lower realms through the remembering Guru? And why uh, we uh, receive empowerment through remembering Guru? So this verse is a very important verse. Marie so here it says, um, uh, here it says, such is the, oh, sorry. may help please remember me. Uh, when we recite that at that time, maybe you think this is only Lord Jitin Sungu. But this is not uh, only Jitin uh, Sungu. This is the your root guru. So <clears throat> in the uh, Dhammaraja says uh, the uh, you should understand the uh, guru as Dharmakaya. Uh, then you accomplish the uh, the uh, non duality of Dharmakaya. So there is no different. Uh, Sacha, Gelo, Nima, Kaju uh, traditions, uh, and there is no different clothes and so forth, and colors and so forth. The main thing is you are going to realize that uh, your guru is Dharmakaya, and then uh, at, in, this, in this time, it's a may help, please remember me. 
at, uh, who should remember you? At that time, <coughs> your root guru should remember you. But how should you remember you uh, remembers by your guru uh, is uh, it's uh, you uh, need uh, faith in your guru. So you have faith in your guru. Uh, that is the, your root guru. Lama tamche tukla tukla lama kosi ke oh lama kosi le tatan jewa chale lang samata niji ga asan jewa chibo yore toma kosi yungu yore kosi chibo tina kosi le tina kosi kare song song oh chu semma yungu che lap song de oh samji je gomu se lap song de song de to wole song ke to mon song gore tong gore de lama tong da rang ke sen de te sen de sen ke ju de che ba yore so so that the charum go with her, my boy Chadun, Lama took the Chutawa to a child, they already. They did Lama took the Lama to talk the dinner, Lama Chatta, you know, talk to Mato, your money, Sanji, Tamji, the book, the Yellow Guarin, the Rangi, Chalo, Lama Kari, Saja Gallo, Yumaka, Karigana, they took her, could you Chalo, Gom, Gom, Marie, the Lama took the Chipo, Gom, Lama took you get hungry, the Lady, when you don't the Chuber, Chuber, the hungry, the Lady in the Tata. Pardon, chip of my but Tata and Angadi, Numo Bart, Napo, Shock Chemoti, Yammer Dungi to Chapachi, because he doing Napo Bachati, he hung from the Lama de Yem, the Hongi Governor, he did the Bachata told you already. Tata Bachat or to Lesaki or Mary Mangbala. Carty Lesai, but Pardo, a chun, Jungan, Sharon, I am Pardo in Jungante, was a trivial call of Pajabanagi. Ranga Pacha, the Ranga Shadow, Madame Dowry, Rita, Ranga Pacha, Ranga Torsum, the party, young man, kick down me about Taki Chagiori. Secretly, Ranga said, Yet the Dessie, you boy, and be Teratin, Lang Dessie, you boys, the door, Talama, the talk some Teratin, Ranga Dandi, the Meva Chan, the Lama talk that gives him a body, Chow on the Chat of Chow Chasm, to take you little, you something now, and you keep killing me, me to be your. Ranga Chalang in Bata, the Venetian, and the Sabato Sunny Lama, the Tree, you call it the Yara Data, you got in at the end of Lani, so even as some other Donna come to two hundred the language, three she did. Three she did, Talamo, three she did more, you hung from the little Tata Song, the number of Bachat or Tana, the party now and Tanji Pachaja and Yang, the little Tokyo, the Tehajan Karchibori, or だってさ、考えてみて、ちょっと読んでるんだけど、ちょっと読んでるんだけど、ちょっと読んでるんだけど、ちょっと読んでるんだけど、ちょっと読んでるんだけど、ちょっと読んでるんだけど、ちょっと
So everything is included in the Guru's mind. If we remember, uh, 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 when we visualize the Guru's, Guru's mind, which means we are going to visualize the syllable home. When we visualize the syllable home, then uh, uh, spontaneously uh, eliminates uh, the, uh, all, the, all the sufferings. But especially when you have a very intrinsic uh, suffering and uh, strong afflictive emotions, at that time you remember a syllable home, then you can eliminate them. That is the, the power of the uh, remembering Guru's mind. So, uh, uh, right now we have uh, uh, the uh, grasping as like an ice. Uh, so through this way, we uh, accumulate many imprints. So th then during the pardo, then uh, uh, we appear as different things. Uh, but right now, if we purify uh, imprints of grasping, then pardo is like a television. Uh, so then we uh, will be understand that pardo is the our selves uh, illusion. So. Uh, uh, the Guru's uh, mind is the essence of uh, uh, Buddhicitta. Uh, so when we remember Guru's mind, uh, momentarily uh, or s uh, spontaneously, uh, uh, the, we eliminate uh, all the uh, <coughs> uh, uh, eliminates the lower realms. So that's when in the 37th way of Bodhisattva, it says, in brief, uh, whatever you do and whatever you think, uh, you always uh, remember, uh, the, the, uh, you always apply mindfulness. So what is the mindfulness? Mindfulness is the guru. So when you have uh, mindfulness, then uh, the, uh, the, your, your mindfulness is uh, your guru. So whenever you apply mindfulness, that means you remember your guru. So that's where in this uh, Sakarma text it says, those ones who are operated with shorts of ignorance, who lost the path, who are the threatened by afflicting emotions, such as the henchmen of the Lord of Death, <coughs> may helplessly remember me and instantly find the supreme path. So uh, the uh, you should recite this verse frequently, uh, often. You recite this verse often, and then you will understand these uh, uh, three lower realms are the one's illusory uh, uh, phenomena. So uh, uh, then you remember Guru's mind, and Guru's mind is the uh, non-duality. それ so now we accumulate many imprints of thoughts. So if we do not purify them, then <coughs> slowly this uh, imprint transform into the body, for example, human body. When we, after we establish the human body, then at that time, there are many sickness and sufferings. So at that time, if we try to purify them, it's very, very difficult. So that's where we always um, apply mindfulness and carefulness. 
So if we apply mindfulness and carefulness, then uh, the basic of our mind is the uh, the, the, the non-duality, Dhammakaya. So uh, that's where we can purify these uh, imprints. Uh, this imp because in, these imprints are like a, a illu illusory. Uh, these are illusory, so illusory things. So that's where we always uh, uh, apply some verse of the 37 way of uh, Bodhisattvas and also the, uh, the Sekhama text. Uh, 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 always you collect some <coughs> important uh, verses and then uh, you recite that often and remember the meaning of these, then it, uh, it's very uh, important. <laughs> Shri, the Father, who is the refuge and protector of all beings of the three realms, and who is the essence of the blessings of the body, speech, and mind of all the victorious ones of the ten directions and three times, together with your lineage of disciples, I pray, grant me your blessings that I may realize the illusory body to be the Nirmanakaya. Grant me your blessings that I may realize the life energies to be the Sambhogakaya. Grant me your blessings that I may realize mind itself to be the Dharmakaya. Grant me your blessings that I may attain Buddhahood in this very life. With this supplication, the retinue dissolves into the Guru. From the Guru's forehead, throat, heart, and navel radiate white, red, blue, and yellow lights, which dissolve into my four places, purifying the four obscurations. I receive the four empowerments, and the seeds of the four Kayas are planted. In the end, the Guru also melts into light and dissolves into me. The Guru's three secrets and my three doors merge inseparably.
the virtue from having perfectly practiced the glorious Guru, together with the virtue of having offered praise and supplication, I dedicate to all beings dwelling in the three realms of samsara. May they attain the state of the Guru, who is the whole of samsara and nirvana. <laughs> chariots of the sutra and tantra vehicles, the assembly of kind lineage gurus and the qualities of their three secrets, may there be the auspiciousness that all beings realize Mahamudra, the supreme accomplishment. Lama Chopa prayer? Evidently we're taking a break. Yeah, I'm for it. I'm a follower.